all right so my new phone just finished transferring from my old phone i have oop, i turned on siri i have all of my pictures apps and everything uploaded to the new phone so i'm all set and ready to go i did switch out the sim card i did have a slight issue with my sim card because the service wasn't transferring but then i figured it out and i honestly think i only had that minor inconvenience because i have sprints and as you may know or may not know t-mobile bought out sprints so i had to put a t-mobile sim card and it was a whole dilemma but i finally fixed it and now i have service on my phone so that is great and my first impressions on this phone is that it's a really beautiful phone like i don't care if you hate apple you can admit that they make some beautiful beautiful phones and this phone is absolutely gorgeous i went with the light blue i upgraded from my iphone 12 pro max and i had the graphite and i'm actually going to return this to t-mobile i do wish they kept the midnight green color i think that was for the iphone 11 i personally love that color i don't know if other people did i'm not a huge fan of green but for some reason that midnight green was just so beautiful to me i feel like the iphone 13s get a bunch of fun different colors and the pros and the max really just get the standard color plus one fun color per year so i do wish apple added more colors to the pro range but i do like the blue and i'm going to keep it obviously from my first impressions i love that they made the little notch smaller when you compare it to the iphone 12 like the notch is slightly smaller on the new iphone which i think is really really nice i know that a lot of people hated how big that little notch was so now you have a slightly bigger screen the camera compared to the iphone 12 pro max is slightly bigger so for that reason you do need a new case other than that they are very very similar in size like it almost exactly the same size all the buttons are in the same location nothing has changed there at first glance it looks exactly like the iphone 12 pro max until you start looking at the notch and the camera um it's pretty much the same width i think i'll have the exact dimensions on the screen for you guys but at first glance it looks very similar to the iphone 12 pro max i personally just love upgrade every year because i tend to always have an upgrade option so why not and i'm also really excited because the iphone 13 has new photographic styles and I take a lot of pictures I'm a youtuber I upload a lot on Instagram so I'm all about taking a good picture and I was watching the keynotes and I got really excited to see how they upgraded the camera how they used it to film movies and TV shows so I think that's really cool and will allow me to film more on my phone versus having to carry a big camera around so I'm really excited to try that out we're actually gonna go head outside to try out the camera I'll I'll bring my iphone 12 pro max as well so you guys can see the difference if there is a difference between the two phones and that way you guys can make an informed decision if you want to upgrade based on the camera so let's go outside and try out the camera we're outside we're about to test the new iphone's camera and compare it to my iphone 12 pro max camera and see if we can notice a difference try out some of the new camera features from the iphone 13 and show you guys if it's worth the upgrade based on the camera
All right, we're back from testing the camera. It was a very simple test. I just wanted to see how the cameras differed from using it for the very first time. I definitely do want to do a more in-depth review on the camera. If that is something you guys are interested in, definitely let me know in the comments below and I can work on that. I am not a tech guru by any means, but I just wanted to test out the cameras for the very first time and see how they compare to the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And I do have to say that probably my favorite feature on the camera is the cinematic mode. That is honestly the main reason I decided to upgrade. I think that's a really nice feature for the camera. Like I mentioned earlier, I think that's a huge upgrade for the iPhone just because you can get more creative and do cinematic videos with just your iPhone. And I think that is so cool. And it's definitely a feature that I'm going to be using a lot of to create some creative shots and stuff for like vlogs and b-roll and stuff like that so really love that feature aside from like just using the simple video format of the two iPhones they are very similar the pictures are very similar as well you could zoom in and see slight differences but honestly unless you're looking for those differences you won't be able to see them the videos that I took using the iPhone 13 and the iPhone 12 are very similar i feel like the iphone 13 is a little bit more crisper and brighter but it's such a minor difference in my opinion that if you're not interested in creating videos with your iphone if you're not interested in using the cinematic or the wide lens on your iphone then you may not really care for this upgrade but i do think it is worth the upgrade if you have like an iphone x an iphone 11 and you don't have the iphone 12 then i definitely think you should upgrade to the iPhone 13 because you will see a huge increase in performance, battery life, and the camera, and all of that good stuff. But if you have an iPhone 12, then you may not really need the upgrade if we're being honest. But if you want to upgrade, then why not just upgrade? It's your money. Do whatever you want. Other than that, I really do love my new iPhone. I am so excited to start customizing it. So a what's on my iPhone video will be coming very soon. Stay tuned. Subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see a what's on my iphone or if you enjoyed watching this video again i'm not a tech guru but i just wanted to unbox my iphone with you guys what do you guys think about the new iphone 13 will you be upgrading will you be getting the pro or will you just stick with the normal iphone 13 i would love to know your comments down below and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys mm -hmm.